Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient Channel. Today is, I believe, April 5th, 2017. I'm bringing you guys yet another video with the most consistent intro here on the net. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just messing with you guys, okay? But today is April 5th, indeed. This is my 34th outing of 2017. A few days after the trout opening here in Pennsylvania and the hunt for trout continues. Today we are here at the Wissahickon Creek. Check this out, huh? Dun, 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 dun. Good old Wissahickon Creek here. You know, it's been a while since I've been here for some trout fishing. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna link the last video here above. It's been like, what, one year, two years? Something like that, you know? So the main goal for today will be for us to catch a brown trout, a salmo truta, because since the beginning of the trout season, all I have caught were rainbows so far. I am going to be meeting my friend today here on the trail around 7.30 a.m. I am a, a little bit early. I got a little bit of a hike to do. We're gonna hit a few different spots. The creek is looking good. Water temperatures are on the rise. Not to mention that even though with all the rain recently, it looks actually normal okay it's not oversaturated water levels are okay so today should be a beautiful day 7 a.m right now you know i got the whole day to figure this place out we're gonna throw some trout magnets some spinners and then at the end of the day if nothing bites we're gonna go with the power bait but hopefully we're going to catch them today first let's meet my friend the good doctor stay tuned been walking for about 20 minutes finally made it to the beginning of the forbidden drive i'm right here at the lincoln drive together with the forbidden drive and it looks like i am at the right place because check this out and huh? notice the stock trout waters haha <laughs> and of course i'm in the right place because you always have one of these phones here you know things that you don't see when you stay at home right now I just got away from my friend. Oh, there it is. Good doctor, man. Very punctual. Let's get the fishing started. Oh, all right. What we got? I don't think it's a trout, man. It was a little smally. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. The fight was weird. Yeah, not, not a trout, <laughs> you know? Is it on the uh, trout magnet? Yeah, on the little trout magnet. Oh, what the... <laughs> a red breast sunfish. Yeah. Again, didn't set the hook. I thought, I thought it was nagged. Oh, what we got? Ah, red breast sunfish. Oh, son. Not quite what we're looking for today, fellas. But there we go, huh? First fish of the day, a little beautiful red breast sunfish directly from the Wissahickon Creek. Let me take a shot at this guy, then we're gonna release it. All right, little red breast. Look, you go back to the creek, all right? And you go tell the trout that we need to see them, okay? Go send a message. I'm telling you, man, usually there's fish here. If you drop power bait, I don't see anything to come to get it though, the corn. Nothing's coming up. To mm -mm, yeah, nothing at all. Well, that doesn't mean there's no fish. There's we'll a see. Little, a little sunny came up and took one. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, but this is this is this is it man. You know this is uh here's like the deepest place around here. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Sounds good.
Oh yeah, fish on. First cast, my man. Nice. All right. Yeah, little trout. Nice. Little rainbow trout. Yeah, that, dude, that's good stuff, man. That's a good sign, right? That's a good sign. That's a good sign, man. That's a good sign. Freaking being here the whole day, fellas. You know, grinding out here with my friend Josh. Not a single freaking bite, fellas. So, you know, to see this trout here, it's truly, I'm very, very happy. First Wissahican trout of this year. Josh, Josh, big one right here. Yep, yeah, right down there. I just had one follow the spinner. It was like one and a half pound, dude. Like right here. So I mean, if we put some power bait later, yeah. you know, I mean, for sure. It's gonna... Sorry? Is that too right? I'm not really power yeah, dude, rig one with power bait, man. Little, little split shot. That's fine. Power eggs. I don't know what these are. Power eggs. Power eggs, yeah, those are good. Yeah, that was a pretty nice trout. Instead of the spinner, I'm gonna put on the trout magnet. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure there are a few down there. That one was no 12 incher. That one was like 15 to 18 inch. Oh. I saw it come up whole way, and then it didn't bite. Fish on! Oh, dude, I had it. I had a big one, dude. I had a big one. It was like that. Now that was not gonna bite again, dude. <laughs> Fudge, dude. That was the big one, dude. That was not gonna bite again today, man. Maybe, maybe if we put power bait down there, the fish will still get it. Yeah, but that that was the one, my man. Oh my god, man. Oh, I I think I set up the hook prematurely. I saw I saw the trout magnet disappear, and I just set the hook. And I felt the pressure, and then you know the, the fish, fish's head just went up and they off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, let's hope it bites again or something like that. But you know what's the you know what's the gig with power bait, right? You still fishing and see when it's Yeah, but what I mean is, if you catch a fish on power bait, you may as well take it home with you because it is gonna. Yeah. yeah no. That's, that's what I mean. Whoa, you got one on, dude! That was so fast, my man! <laughs> this is crazy, dude! So Josh legit just threw the power bait in. First trout of the day, man. Okay. Yeah, good stuff. Ooh, fish on. Whoa, what the heck? That's a wrong species, man. I mean, I'll take it any day, a red breast sunfish, but not exactly what we're looking for, yeah? On the trout magnet. All right, bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Nice, dude. Good, good little Raymond trout. Yeah, right? I mean, Wissahickon rainbows are not that bad. Yeah, they're A little bit bigger, this one. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. Oh, dude, that's a nice one. Holy moly, dude. That's a very nice, dude, that's a nice one. Yeah. I hope it doesn't break her line. I'm, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna walk in there. You're gonna walk in where? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There's no landing place, but this, this is a decent one. No, oh, it went under. Don't go under. Don't go under. Wow, dude. That's, the, dude, that's a nice fish, my man. You know what? You can if you can walk over there. Okay, let's pray to the fishing gods that he won't snap the line. Josh is gonna lift this one. It's a nice fish. Oh, he got it, dude! Oh, oh he fell right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, next time, dude. Oh my gosh. Well, he he he, he went away fine, right? Yeah, he went fine. Oh, that's good. That's good. It. If he went away fine, next time we catch him, man. Perfect. He actually, he actually, he actually, the hook was on the side of the mouth. I thought. I see. I couldn't tell because he was moving around, but. Gotcha. Yeah, he went okay. Yeah, dude, that was that was a decent fish for the Wissahickon, man. Damn, dude. I know. Yeah. I was like, it looks kind of big from up here. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, man. Keep fishing. Some people think that it's a 
Fish on. Yeah, there we go. Little fella. Hit on the trout magnet, pretty nice. Wow, man. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Boom, two pound test right here. Yeah, nice flip, man. <laughs> Second fish of the day. Made up for the fact that I couldn't flip my monster over the little ledge. Boom, there we go, guys. Hooked right on top of the mouth on the trout magnet. I saw this guy swinging at it down there too. Beautiful sample from the Wissahickon Creek. Having a blast here with the good old doctor, my friend Josh. Hey guys. Josh doesn't really have a YouTube channel, but you do have an Instagram page, right? House of Leo Instagram. House of Leo. You guys know why I bring a doctor here, right guys? It's because if something happens to me, you know, <laughs> he's right here to help me out, man. All right, guys, let's keep fishing. Hopefully catch some more trout. Two pound test, man. That video is coming up tomorrow. There's like a little interview on it, you know? Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's like, I live by it, Leo. I live by it. Oh, man, dude, it's so funny. Fish on. Oh, is that a brown? Nah, that's a rainbow. But there you go, one, guys. Yet another one here on the little trout magnet. Splashing a lot, for sure. Very feisty fella. Let's see if we can lift him up here. Two pound test line, you know. Oh, we lost him. We lost him. Well, that's okay. One more fish for the Wissahickon Creek, you know. Good stuff, good stuff. Fish on. All right, come on. Come on, we got another one here just after we lost that one. Let's just hope we can land this guy now. Tire him out a little bit. All right, I think it's about time to do the flip. Flip! Yeah, son, third one of the day. Wissahickon is actually rewarding us quite nicely here. I'm not gonna give credit to the Bolton Commission because I think they could have done a better job. But, uh, you know, needless to say, we are catching some fish. I I'm happy about that. Good stuff, guys. Check this out, huh? Beautiful. Quick update. So as you guys can see, we are doing fairly good here at the Wissahickon Creek. My friend Josh is currently using a little power bait there. And for those who are not familiar, I'm using the little Leyland Lures Trout Magnet on a 164 ounce jig head, okay? On two pound test line. If you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know that this is my new secret weapon and it, ha it has been working fairly well, I'm gonna tell you that much. You know, I've been running an inline spinner over here, no bites whatsoever. We, we did catch one fish, but, but you know, it's been on fire on the little trout magnet. So once again, I would like to thank my friend Juan for showing me the hopes, you know, the legendary master of the trout magnet. He passed me his legacy, I'm passing you guys the legacy. Do me a favor and go get some of these, all right? You will land some fish guys well i can't snag it so it's just gonna be floating down forever here on the wissahickon creek yep all right let's see let's see why don't you keep going actually i'm gonna it's probably gonna close this out though it'll be my little doctor i can i can never snag anything on the jig head you got it you got it you got it okay okay that's good uh, it looks pretty dead. I mean, it looks like it's, it's gonna be. So, so what is your assessment? Uh, fish? Yeah. No, don't swim down there, dude. We swim away? No, he's, he's, he's right there. He's coming right across that rock right there. Yo, what the hell? Yeah, swim away. All right. But it looks like it's going. I think you're gonna die, dude. Yeah, exactly. You know, it looks like he's going to die, though. Do you see him or is he gone? No, he's like he's gone. Here. Well, may maybe maybe he's gotta survive. What? It's floating down the stream, dude. Fish on. Oh yeah, we got a little guy right here on the trout magnet. I'm not catching any browns today. Is that a brown? I think that's a brown, dude. I hope that's a brown because the goal for today was to freaking catch a brown trout. Come up here. Is it a brown or is it a rainbow? Oh, yeah. 
Yes, son, my first brown trout of the year, finally, guys. I was starting to believe that these guys don't exist no more here in the creek. Oh, came out right there. Did you see that? Don't never leap a trout, by the way, okay? Don't do what extreme fillet fishing is doing here. I'm taking this fish home to eat. That's why I'm leaping it, okay? I'm not wetting my hands. But check this out. I just wanted to show you guys, huh? Nice little brown trout here. My first one of the year, guys. I'm so happy. <laughs> Been looking for this forever. So check that out, huh, guys? The trout that Josh lost surfaced pretty quick after you know he lost it over here and it started floating downstream you know so josh really thought it's a waste of resources to uh to let that trout float downstream right because i mean he caught it on power bait and had swallowed the hook so after the trout floated and went downstream josh went all the way down there with the trout to get it I don't know if he got it or not, he's down there right now, but uh, hopefully he did, you know? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. That's to show you guys, you know, that sometimes when you trout fish and they swallow the hook, right? Chances are they're going to die afterwards, you know? These stock trout, they're pretty sensitive, which is, which is why I always tell people, right? If you're going to release the trout, make sure you don't use power bait, you know? Use something else so you hook it on the side of the mouth, right? Make sure you take the proper measures to preserve the fish wet your hands so you don't damage the slime coat and etc 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 right if you're going to take the fish then let him swallow the hook i think i think josh got the fish you know <laughs> after much much effort anyways let, let's keep fishing holy moly josh 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 is having a bite on the power bait and he's all the way to the other way to the other side what are, what are i gonna do it's having a bite on the freaking power bait, man. Oh my god, and his rod is right-handed too. What the heck? I real left-handed, but uh, maybe the fish is not on. Yeah, I don't think the fish is on, so I'm just gonna reel it in. Oh, fish on! Fish on! <laughs> fish on on Josh's rod! <laughs> Dude, I feel so bad I'm reeling his fish, but well, it's my fish now, Josh. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> this is my last last fish for today too so this is my limit that's it fifth fish you know caught on josh's power bait holy moly look at this this split shots right here so that means this trout inhaled like a lot of line already oh wow anyways this is my last fish for today guys i call my limit you know what i may do now is i may just catch and release the trout you know without touching them with the trout magnet we'll see but there we go, five fish from the Wissahickon Creek. Beautiful. Yeah, dude, the power bait, the power bait was moving, so you know, so I just that that's all right, right? Actually, when I walked out, I was like, shoot, I hope Neil just picks up my rod. Oh, all right, dude. Yeah. So, so is it your fish? Believe so. You believe so? Mmm. Well, so since you believe that it is your fish and the fish is half dead, let's take a measurement <laughs> of it, anyways. You know, why not, right? All the way downstream for it. So yes. You wet yourself for it, right? Yeah, yeah. I saw that you wet yourself. Change, I have a change of clothes. It's all good. It's all all right, let's go over there, man. Make sure that this fish doesn't fall in again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That would be disastrous, man. Yeah, wow. So you went all the way down there to get it, huh? I did. It floated pretty bad? Yeah, it floated all the way down. Yeah. Okay, well, let's measure it then. All right. I'm just going to... This is going to die anyways, okay? Yeah. So I'm just going to lip it through the gill. Yep. Give me one moment. How... Wait, wait. How big do you think it is? Your estimate. Pound. Okay. Yeah, 1.5. 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. Pound and a half. Nice. Yeah, There's a nice trout for the Wissahickon Creek, my man. Yeah. We, we, let's take a shot at this one because I think he deserves a shot, you know? All right, guys. Final update. It's about 12 p.m. right now. We have been fishing for a long time, all right? That's all you guys need to know. And here at the Wissahickon Creek, it's been a tough day. I mean, I, I did catch my limit today, as you guys saw. Josh landed three rainbow trout, biggest one for him at one and a half pounds. So, I mean, that was a, a very interesting catch for sure, as you guys saw in this video, you know? But uh, needless to say, it is tough down here in the creek, you know? I mean, besides this spot where we are at today, all the other spots is like no bites whatsoever. I did see two guys fishing the creek, 
uh, each one of them caught one, you know. But that is it, folks. So, I mean, so far for spring season here at the Wissahickon Creek, okay, things have been extremely, extremely slow. Maybe it is just me. I don't know. Maybe you guys are hitting the Wissahickon, you know, and catching a lot of fish. I wouldn't know. But for me, it's been tough. So, I'm very, very happy that I caught my limit today. Very happy I caught my first brown trout of the year. Very happy that Josh here, House of Liao on Instagram, landed a one and a half pounder. We gotta go get something to eat now. <laughs> Call it a day. Make sure to check his Instagram, okay? He does some really nice posts on Instagram. I'm gonna tell them what. He's kind of a, an Asian uh, philosopher, American uh, fisherman kind of thing, you know? Should check it out for sure. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Tight lines, and until next time. The two reels all together on the value of 1,600 Japanese yen, okay? And I gotta <laughs> tell you a little secret, okay? You can go actually out there and kind of Google it. If you Google Japanese yen to US dollar, 1,600 Japanese yen is like $15, okay? Uh, $15 is the price for the two reels that, can't, that are inside this box. So that means that each reel is like $7.50. Mizaki, how dare you send me like the, the cheapest reel in the world, man? Or like one of the cheapest fishing reels in the world? Are you kidding me, my man?